The Australian Grand Prix. It's been nearly two years since it's been on. The 17th of March, 2019. We're in 2021 now. And with, you know, the whole pandemic roaming around the world, it's looking likely that, well, it's already been postponed, but it's looking likely that it's probably not even going to take place this year. I reckon there won't be uh, an Australian Grand Prix race this year. So I am going to race around here because why the hell not? I miss this place. It's been two years since I've been in Australia now, pretty much. So let's have a race. Anyway, online race. I flipped the screen because um, I realized all this time my European viewers have not been able to see the, the videos the right way. So now you can see what's going on. Gonna do a one stop. We're gonna start on the soft compound tires and we're gonna see if we can win. Oh, it's upside down now. Five red lights and away we go. Apologies about the video. Um, those not in the Southern Hemisphere are gonna have to flip the video now. So apologies about that. Anyway, into turn one. And as you would expect, it's absolute carnage in these online lobbies. Safety car has been deployed already and it's just an absolute mess. Somehow, I got an illegal overtake on Nico Hulkenberg, who is all the way back there. Cheers, Nico. So that puts me down to P20, P19 in this race, because I somehow illegally overtook someone who was off the track. And now this guy in the McLaren, I don't even know what he's doing. But uh, there we go. That's That's been a weird start to this race. He's got no front wing, so hopefully we should be able to get past him. And we do. We're now up in 18th place. So, yeah, doing a 25% race. I love doing these races, uh, these longer races. Um, Jesus. Thanks for that, Michael Massey. Um, <laughs> I love doing these longer races because they just involve a lot of strategy and it's a lot more fun than five lap races. You actually have a lot more time to get through the field and stuff. Nico Hulkenberg is up to his usual tricks. Return the position immediately or we will be penalized. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got a five second time penalty for causing a severe collision with the Ferrari. And I've got another one. Is this a joke? Is this honestly a joke? The Ferrari has squeezed me twice and I, me. I get the penalty for that. This is a joke. <laughs> this is an actual joke. So now I'm coming into the pit lane and I'm serving a five second stop go penalty. Can I serve both of them now, please? No, I can't. I have to come in again and serve the other one. So that's what I'm going to do under safety car, probably. So, yeah, this, this is a weird race, by the way. This is a really, really weird race and it doesn't stop here. So... We're out onto the medium compound tires. Uh, we get dive bombed under safety car by the Williams. He cuts the corner. Um, but yeah, we got two five second time penalties for something that wasn't my fault. I got a track. Oh, that racing point's out of the race. And the Williams is smashed into him. Nice vision. So we got a, a track limits warning as well for track extending under safety car. Um, driving at safety car speeds. So that's, um, that's another good omen for this race. Uh, that just happened. <laughs> Honestly, these people in here don't know how to drive. It's absolutely silly. But we're coming in now to serve the five second stop go and change the tires. Double stack of Mercedes, which is, you know, typical. Okay, let me in so I can serve my penalty. Serving it now. Guys are getting ready. And, oh, now I'm serving my five-second stop-go penalty. Thank you, Mercedes. Absolutely wonderful. There we go. And just in protest, let's just wait here another five seconds, shall we? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Why? Why the hell could I not serve my five-second stop-go while the team were still sorting their lives out? That would have made a lot more sense. Um, anyway, we rejoin on the circuit once more. The safety car is coming in at the end of this lap, and I need to get a hurry on because 
they're all in the third sector at the second last corner now and I'm still I'm just entering the third sector now so this is uh, well not a good omen for this race safety car has pulled into the pit lane and we are back underway for green flag running of the Australian Grand Prix possibly the only Australian Grand Prix we'll see this year maybe I should do 100% race in in this race's honor maybe uh, closer to March let me know if you want to see that but we're back underway. Fast as that for us. There's been some kerfuffling going on at the exit of turns one and two. The Williams! I don't know who had control of that car. I don't know if anyone had control of that car, to be honest. But that was nasty. That was nasty too. A further two. No, three cars involved in that crash at turn three. So in a space of only four corners, we've gone from P19 to P12. And I've done absolutely nothing to deserve it. Make that P10 now. Um, this is a weird race. Who are the people that are in this race? You guys playing F1 for the first time or what? We come across the line. And that is a fastest lap of the Grand Prix. We are hoping to, to win this race. I think maybe we can do that, given that... Uh, the race leader is only like five, six, seven seconds up the road now. However, that race leader is uh, is a league racer. Is uh, his name's Flash two two four. Pretty fast, faster than me, I would say. And so it's going to be difficult for me to uh, to catch up to him now that he's in some clear air. Hello, teammate. Goodbye, teammate. That's P nine. So we've quickly eroded the gap to the bulk of the field. I don't know how. But these guys are just squabbling so much um, to the point where they're just leaking seconds every every corner, it feels like. If you get up the inside of the Mercedes, uh, the McLaren Mercedes, hey, it's that nice save there. <laughs> we get ourselves up in a P7, and we're, we're looking pretty good for at least a podium in this race. I think we're going to need like another safety car or something to catch up to Flash, who is uh, racing away in the lead now. But regardless, this has been a, a pretty solid recovery you'd have to say as we're now closing in on the Alfa Romeo who's a little bit slow uh, he's on hard compound tyres though bless him so let's see if we can get a nice exit out of the last corner we do do so but the Alfa has the slipstream of the Alfa Tauri ahead so that makes life a little bit more difficult we get up the inside into turn one and we run wide that's our second uh, track limits warning for the race and one more we'll be getting ourselves a penalty as we go round the outside of the Alpha Tauri, driven by an AI car, no less, which outbreak themselves and hit me in turn three. So, um, make of that what you will. We now have some good track position. We've got some clear air for the first time, and we have a three second time penalty heading our way. Thanks, Code Masters. That was, that was the first legit warning I got this race. The other two were a bit BS, but we'll, uh, we'll move. Anyway, catching up to the next group of cars. Uh, they have some big boy penalties of their own. And I thought, you know, I want to fit in with with everyone else having penalties. I don't want to stand out like a sore thumb. So I thought I'd give myself a penalty. That's the logic behind that. But um, this racing point looking a little bit slow, a little bit wayward. He runs wide through that fast right-hander. We're going to go up the outside, heading into the middle sector. Thank you very much. Utilizing overtake at a very unconventional part of the circuit and it, when we made it work for us So we're now up in a P3 a Red Bull uh, Having a couple of spinalas there, and I think He's just taken a McLaren with him on the minimap So that's a rather yard, large yikes and the stewards agree they released the safety car in this race so this completely changes the face of the Grand Prix because now we can come in and get onto a new set of tyres. I'm boxing for softs, but the timing of the safety car has meant that Flash has passed the pit lane and he's not been able to serve his stop. He's going to be stuck behind the safety car and we're going to jump in if he decides to make another stop under the safety car. So effectively, uh, well, we're second now, but we're effectively leading this race. What a turnaround after the opening couple of laps where we were nearly half a lap down. The safety car... Well, okay. Um, Haas has crashed into the safety car. The McLaren has now crashed into the Haas. And the safety car has just been blocked 
from going any further in this race. I think at this point, this race should just be red flagged. This is absolutely silly. Um, but because we saw the safety car there, that means that we missed a crucial detail. Flash in the Alfa Romeo overtakes the yellow dot, that being the safety car coming out of the pit lane, and he's actually managed to minimize the damage. Um, so he's jumped the safety car. This guy... Oh, that Haas nearly jumping the safety car quite literally there. Uh, as he goes flying through the air. But, crucially for the race leader, Flash, he's actually... He didn't have to stack behind the safety car for that for that lap. And he's able to get away with a pit stop. That's very, very cheeky. I bet he chucked it up into overtake. And pushed like crazy to overtake the safety car in time. So that he wouldn't lose the lead. Very smart. I'd probably do the same myself. And Flash has uh, got himself out of jail. He's now on a fresh set of soft compound tires. So now, for the rest of this Grand Prix, it's going to be a shootout between myself and Flash to, to win this race. He's on two warnings, so one more. And he'll have three seconds against his name for a time penalty. We have a guy called Estab Onko in this race, a little bit further down the order. He's pretty fast too, but he's got a lot of traffic to negotiate to get into this lead fight. So that's the state of play. I think it's going to be a two-horse race, me and Flash. And um, let's hope that he gets a penalty. We're going to put maximum pressure on uh, once this safety car gets going. And uh, all of a sudden, we are thrusted into the fight for the win after what was quite a shambolic start of the race. Underway we go, says Yoda. We are underway for the Australian Grand Prix. Four laps to go, and I'm going to see what Flash does here on this first lap. I'm not going to utilize all of my ERS. I'm actually going to save just a little bit. I said maximum pressure, but I'm going to apply that pressure perhaps a little later on in the Grand Prix. That's going to be the game plan. So the gap is about a second at this stage, and it's looking like he's got a lot of pace. Uh, but the, the key factor here is to not panic too much as he sets a fast side. One minute, 21.4. We are three tenths slower. But like I said, I didn't push as much as I could have. So we're saving a little bit of pace for later on, and we're going to have more of a consistent lap by lap lap time, if that makes sense. So Flash had the, the faster lap initially. This lap will be slower because he has a little bit less ERS, maybe took a little bit more out of his tires. On this lap, we pretty much matched the last lap we did, and we've actually cut the gap in half to Flash. So we are phasing in rather well, but we're, we've taken up an extra two track extend warnings, which is not great. So from here, we need to make sure that we don't cut any more. And Flash, I've only just noticed, has got himself his first three-second time penalty. So as things stand, we're level on penalties. So now all we have to do is just overtake the guy, which is a lot easier said than done, especially at a track like this where dirty air is, is quite prominent at this circuit. There's a lot of medium and high-speed corners and stuck behind a car is uh, not going to be great for your overall pace. But I've got a high downforce setup for eight wings. I'm actually running a Spain setup, which feels pretty nice across most circuits. And so that's what I've been using lately and just altering the wings pretty much. But we're getting pretty close to him now. Maybe he's out of ERS or getting pretty low or maybe he's saving a little bit. And now this is our chance to, to really make a challenge for him. That was lucky not to get a extend there, but I think I lost time by running wide there into the final couple of corners. And this is where things are going to get a little bit easier for us now because this is the first time that we get DRS. So here we go, DRS, Rich, and Overtake. We go from a 5 tenth gap to 3, maybe maybe make that 2. As we go through turn 1, I don't think Flash is using any ERS here. I think he's trying to save it for the last few laps. So we're going to strike now with Rich and Overtake. We decide that we want to lead this Australian Grand Prix and we take that down into turn three. So now, the ball is in our court. Flash is trying to save up his ERS to have a go at me on the last lap. And you can see I'm not using any overtake myself here on this last lap, yet my ERS is still depleting. So this is what it all comes down to, this last lap. 
we are equal on penalties. So it's going to come down to a straight up shootout as we get a horrible exit through the last corner. I was trying to get the rocket ship exit, but that is exactly the opposite of what's happened. Flash takes the lead once again. He's going to get DRS on this next straight as well, which is a double blow for us. And so we just got to try and stay with him if we can. The gap is now four tenths. So yeah, just one slight loss of the back end. I was trying to push. Uh, I got on the power a little bit earlier than what I would normally, just trying to get an even better exit. And the rear end was just not happy. The rear tires overheated. And I think we touched the curb as well, which uh, pretty much KO'd us. And that is the nail in the coffin for this race. Another three second time penalty. Another warning. <laughs> I think I think we might even get another penalty at this rate if this carries on. But we've got to put the big boy pants on through here. Turns 10 and 11. Try and cut that as much as we can. Uh, we have DRS now, which we will be able to utilize to close the gap. But we're running out of uh, overtaking opportunities in this race. We need to get him. We need to hope that he gets a penalty as well doesn't run wide there this is the last breaking zone and then that is the race ladies and gentlemen it's uh it's not easy to get a win off of flash one small mistake and he will have you for breakfast that is the lesson to be learned today hopefully you guys enjoyed this race this weird and wacky australian grand prix about 95% of the lobby were just playing bumper cars with each other. And then there was us two up the front uh, having that Titanic battle, uh, which was pretty cool. It kind of reminded me, you know, of um, the Mercedes in 2014, 2015. You know, when Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg were literally fighting each other and you saw the true pace of the Mercedes come out. They were lapping like two seconds a lap faster than the rest of the field. That's pretty much what that was like there. Um, <laughs> but that was cool. I really enjoyed that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to get involved in future open lobbies with me, follow me on Twitter uh, or my Discord, which is now linked in the description. And um, yeah, I'll try and do open lobbies as much as I can. Thank you guys. And I will see you for a brand new video very soon.